Hi folks, this is Jonathan Grummer, and uh, I'm out at the, my Lake Trails 1 area, and I'm heading back to the Bigfoot Playground here, and as I promised on my YouTube channel here just really within the last few minutes, uh, I was making a video on my phone here. Uh, stating that uh, uh, I'm about to go live and here I am live and uh, I'm headed back to the to the area my gifting area so <laughs> sorry I'm I don't know anyways um, I still have yet to upload my episode 12 Bigfoot Playground gifting project video, which I'll do here probably tonight, uh, along well, along with this one, and uh, so I don't know what to say, but uh, I, I've never done this before going live on Facebook but uh, hopefully so um, <laughs> anyways um, what can I say um, let's just I'm just gonna walk and if something comes to mind I'll talk to y'all so, there we have it. But, uh... God is good. You know? If you watch the, the video that I just made just a few minutes ago, um... My... My computer fried yesterday while uh, editing episode 12... And uh, I couldn't get it up and running, and I'm just gonna trash it. And uh, as as you heard in that video, I uh, I I have a prospect of getting a laptop. So uh, pray pray with me on that. Now um, I'm gonna switch, and I'm actually standing in front of right here. Uh, where the original Bigfoot playground was and as you can see I switched <laughs> and I'm gonna come down here give y'all a little view this is where the the tire swing used to be down in this little gully here and by the way I've got a honey bun which I'm gonna hmm sorry I heard some acorns falling over this way <laughs> but uh I'm gonna put this honey bun in the gifting bucket so here we go headed down the path here Now, around the corner here, you're about to see a, a tree leaning over the pathway, and I don't know if you've seen that yet on any of the episodes. I, I actually think it's on episode 12, which, again, I haven't uploaded yet, but uh, you're about to see it once we get down here.
a little bit further down here, not too far. Here we come. Okay, just, I don't know, maybe you don't know, but this this right here used to be a tree that came up this way and, and leaned out over here. And that was knocked down, as you can rip down along here, going up. And then you come over here and there's two there's a there's a tree right here goes up it splits off into a Y marker that is so weird how that how that works that you know it's a Y and then here's another tree that's been pushed over or something goes across the path and again, the Y right there. Anyways, honey bun. <laughs> so I'm going to walk down this way. And I feel the urge to whistle. So here goes a whistle. And I'm going to do it over in this direction. bunch of dogs. I just heard something down there. Anyways. I'm coming up on the bench here. Here's the bench. <laughs> Heading down to the gifting area here. And got my honey bun. God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. Oh, God, you are. Here we go. So you just saw how I came into the gifting area. This, as you can tell, this is my old gifting area. There's the, the necklace and the keychain right there. And the new gifting area, which I don't know if y'all really know about, but I, I actually moved my gifting area um, because I had an encounter. And I'm, I'm going to kind of reenact it here, because I don't know if you've seen, seen this part, which you will in episode 12, I think, once I upload it tonight, hopefully. But uh, I was actually right here, and what happened, uh, I actually came here, and I noticed that the um that the and I just noticed somebody is watching now <laughs> and I just want to welcome you here this 
I don't know if you're up to it, but um, I've had Bigfoot encounters here. So <laughs> just to let you know, and I don't know if you're into Bigfoot, but I, I'm about to share a testimony here. And I hope you enjoy what I'm about to say. But anyways, here maybe a month ago, um, uh, I came up here. I had put some stuff in the bucket, which was hanging on that branch right there. And nothing was hitting it. And it was, it was kind of a overcast day. And, uh, I came in, I noticed nothing was taken, and I had, I, the day that I came here, it was a whole week after putting this stuff in the bucket and nothing was hitting it. And uh, it was discouraging me. So I came in, I looked, and I left. And I actually went out this direction and went back this way, and there's a road out this way uh, in the park here. And uh, I got out to the road out here. And I thought, you know what? I ought to come back and say if there's some, if there's anything in the bucket um, that you don't like, just throw it on the ground. I will never bring that again. And that's the idea that I, the thought that I that came into my mind. And uh, so I decided to come back. And I came around, and as you saw it previously, if you were watching this live video. Um, I'd noticed that that tree was leaning over the pathway, which was kind of shocking to me. So I kept walking and I came around and as you saw in this video right now, this live video, I came down and uh, I came down this way right here and I came up here without, and I had my camera, but I didn't have it on and I came right where I'm standing and just beyond back in that area I had something squawk at me and run and I stressed it ran into the wood line back there and uh it freaked me out I was like what and the squawk wasn't I don't I don't know how to it, it was a squawk but the thing ran it didn't fly into the air it ran because I could hear the footsteps going into the wood line. I didn't see anything. I heard it and it ran into the woods. It's it, I must have frightened it. And so I came in and uh, I'm going to upload episode 12. But I came in right where I'm at now. And I said, hey, I'm sorry uh, in, in the video. And you're going to see this on episode 12. Again, I haven't uploaded it, but I will tonight. And uh, it ran into the wood into the wood line back there. Um, I've had numerous encounters here with with the gifting in this area, uh, but uh, nothing was happening. So, needless to say, I went back this way, and I'm going to go back this way now. This is the direction I go to go to the new gifting area. And you're about to see the new gifting area here pretty soon. So I came down this way. And uh, I'm going to go back this way. Okay. So, okay, so as you can tell, <laughs> uh, the lid is on the bucket here. This is my new gifting area. And I'm going to pan around so you can see what it looks like. But uh, it's all surrounded by a bunch of pine trees right here and deciduous trees. Now, in the winter, all these, oh, okay, so <laughs> I just noticed these bottles. Okay, I put those bottles there here a few days ago. Uh, I keep seeing bottles behind the bench. 
and I'm it, it could be people drinking it and throwing it behind the bench but it's just strange that every once in a while I see one or two bottles and they're pointing in different directions and they're all around the bench there but uh I put those bottles there and we'll see if they'll ever change or move but um, these are evergreen trees these stay green throughout the winter right here but these kind of trees, they lose their leaves during the winter. And uh, anyways, there's a lot of evergreen trees. So this will be a good area during the winter because it'll give whatever's in this area um, coverage. So anyways, um, previously I had put in this bucket and you'll probably see this in episode 12 sorry I just heard something back that way I don't know but uh previously I put an apple a peach and a pumpkin in this bucket and uh what do you call it so I put a apple a peach and a pumpkin in this bucket and uh, I put the lid on because I noticed that I left the lid off originally and uh, I noticed that the the peach was scraped like bitten into and stuff and and so <laughs> But the apple was still there. So uh, I decided that I would put the lid on. And I put the lid on. And you'll see this in episode 12, I think. I don't know. Um, I noticed that the lid was on the ground right here. And you can kind of tell that it was placed there. And there's all kinds of branches. So it's, it's kind of interesting. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this down, and uh, we're gonna look inside and see. There should be, there should be a peach and a pumpkin in there. And I can feel the weight, so we're gonna put it down and take the lid off here. And as you can see, there's all kinds of gnats and stuff, and the peach is still in there, and the pumpkin's still there, and uh. I've got my honey bun and I, I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the honey bun and the the peach is getting all kinda nasty but uh that's what it looks like it's been kinda eaten into I'm gonna throw this back here because that's where I throw the stuff right there <laughs> and it'll biodegrade and maybe a peach tree will grow up right there who knows anyways so here's a honey bun I'm gonna leave the honey bun and the pumpkin in there and we're gonna put the lid fully on so nothing can, you know what I'm gonna kinda take these out and uh Make sure there's no bugs. No bugs. Bugs can get in through the holes in the bottom. There's one bug. I'm going to kill it. There we go. So there's the honey bun and the pumpkin. And I'm going to leave the pumpkin and the honey bun in there without the lid. And we're going to put the bucket right up there. And I'm going to put the... <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Look at this. Something's dug into the ground there. 
Might be a squirrel, I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna put the, the lid on. I think I'm gonna leave the lid on so nothing gets up in there. And uh, we're gonna leave it there and I'll probably come back here in a couple of days or so and we'll see if anything's changed so um, there you have it so thanks for watching God bless and happy squatching